Hello Libra! Welcome back or welcome to Told as Love Tarot with Megan, the Gemini Meg. Um, if you've come here a few times for my videos, please like, share, subscribe. Um, the more views, likes I get, the more I can push that out there and I am unashamedly asking please. I don't, I don't even know how to see who likes the things, so I don't even know, I won't even know if it's you. <laughs> With that being said, Libra, I started thinking like, wow, I made it, I'm like back at the air signs again. And I'd been going in a pattern of Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and then Libra was just in my head big time. So I figured I would start with Libra. And um, I'm trying to think of, oh, I lost my train of thought. Maybe Libra, you're losing your train of thought. I remembered what it was. It was um, someone like learning something or at work or in a class or somewhere or a training or I even got like a driver's renewal class where like they are either bored or have no idea what's going on and it's so over their head that they're like talking and chatting it up or texting. I just got communicating and it could be like, yeah, I'm looking at, I'm seeing this woman look at her hand. So it could have been texting and this person's too busy, has been too busy communicating and now they feel completely lost and on the outs because yeah there's been too much communication i just got now they're fucked um could be communicating with a woman um i don't get like a i don't get like a a secret woman though i got like a just communicating with maybe a partner or someone else but i think my message last night was about libra feeling all out of sorts and i feel that like libra you're still in that energy but feeling like you don't have a, gr a grip or control like you've lost the grip of controlling things Libra, my fellow air signs. I also get this feeling too. Quite a few Libras are like considering how long it takes them to get to work or how long they're actually at work. And it's like, Libras like their balance. They like their leisure time and they their work time. So if it's like, I'm spending way too much time to go do this, then I need to get a better job. Mm, Libra. All right. I, you're trying to tell me too much. Wow. Three majors already. Four major cards out of five. I feel like this is going to be a similar reading to the one you did. What I did last night. I just remember it has the empress card here again which is the maternal card the pregnancy card and it's in reverse again so someone either just had a baby or um sadly may have lost a baby um because the ace of cups is in reverse or maybe it was recently i just got told they couldn't maybe couldn't have children So this is Pisces energy. This is Leo energy, the strength. I gotta do, look it up. I think it's Libra. And I get like Capricorn energy on the, um, the world. And Page of Cups is water energy. 
And then the Fool, I think it's Aries, nope, I don't think it's Aries energy. I think it's Aquarius energy. I gotta get better at these. But that's why I do this, because I'm going to learn as I do it. Something I heard earlier, and yeah, it's, I saw like a train, like full steam ahead. Like I just see something's full steam ahead. Like something, maybe things are happening way too fast. Again, with the like feeling I have no control over what's happening right now. I see someone like praying for strength. They feel like they have the world resting on their shoulders. Maybe um, a mother figure just passed away. But again, I see like someone just became a mother. Like the, the beginning is here and the Empress in reverse, like she's already given birth. I even see that too with the Ace of Cups um, reversed. I see like someone. I see like not like an unwed couple. Like maybe they're not even committed. Having a baby. All right, let's clarify Libra, the Fool, the Fool card for Libra. Oh, flipped, it's flipping again. All right, there we go. Three of Cups. This is a this is a celebratory beginning. People are celebrating. Um, this little page of cups that has come into the world and. Virgo, the hermit, just came out. That's another major. I see someone closing the door and chapter on like their party ways and, and, and like attracting girls or trying to get people of whomever they're attracted to or and who's attracted to them. Yeah, because there's there's like no love there. I feel like someone's realizing, I don't know, Ace of Cups reversed twice. I see a big closing of a chapter on in someone's life. Closing that chapter. This hand is putting that down. There's hands over here putting this down. Not communicating, not giving small little offers. I, I see like a, a level up in maturity. Putting away manipulative ways or not wanting to anymore, like, it's the world. Strength reversed, right next to strength. I can't believe all these majors. <sighs> okay, I see someone praying for strength because they don't feel strong right now. Again, with the like feeling like I have the world on my shoulders. Um, two of cups and then judgment reverse. Um, this kind of makes me look like, uh, make me look like, makes it look like, um, Libra. I would say this is someone from the past that you either don't, are praying for them to come back 
or praying that they do not come back because you don't think you'll have the strength to say no. Because <clears throat> you actually really do want them to come back and you're actually, even though it was like hella toxic and there were red flags, this person made you feel like a daddy. But you're not, you're not, you're not reaching out, you're being strong. Maybe you envisioned this person as your empress, your partner. And I see like this person didn't reach out and hasn't said anything. And maybe you felt like a fool. Maybe someone told you they would go reach out and they didn't. And I feel like you are heavy on this person's brain. You are heavy in their brain thoughts I see like oh uh, I feel like I'm seeing like wanting to come back together but not thinking you can come back together like yeah there was a tower moment another major this person was a major part of your life Libra and there was a lot of passion between the two of you and then I just see like the most, the more passionate that it is, the more unhealthy it was. <laughs> and I see a cane, someone being hit by a cane. I see um, something coming in, a communication from, uh, could have been an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but it, um, I just hear a truth bomb. It could be someone was like sleeping with someone else. Someone from their past that they shouldn't have been seeing or talking to. Or just that like, yeah, I feel like this Empress and this Queen of Swords are kind of similar. So like maybe this person was already a mother to one, has one. This is Scorpio energy. Um, the sex was fire. Like fucking electrical. Like you'd never felt a spark like that with like nobody else had quenched this thirst in you before. She was a bad bitch. Tough as nails with her words. They may, she may have left, ended it. Yeah, because it's definitely not. There's like Ace of Cups twice reversed. Like a lot, each of you lost in this. Leo, I see you looking. Did I say Leo? This is Libra. Libra, you could be dealing with a Leo. I see... Did I just make this whole video Libra, Leo? So a Leo and a Libra could be dealing with each other, or it could be a Libra with heavy Leo in their chart, but God, I see like dominatrix and heels hurting, hurting, hurting. I see someone looking back for someone to reach out. And they haven't. Libra. I'm going to have to rewatch this whole thing. Because if I kept saying Leo. It was going to be a very confusing video. But if not, Libra. I'll see you next time.